everyone. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot here to do another daily love reading. So let's see what your messages are. If you're new, please do smash that like and subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate that. I am here Sunday through Thursday doing daily readings. And on Thursdays, I will give you a weekend reading. Okay, so this is collective for all signs. Please keep that in mind. And we're going to take a look at the Celtic cross spread to see what the messages are going forward for the rest of August. Okay. What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? Okay. Past energy, three of cups. Current is the sun. Beautiful. Crossed by the seven of pentacles. Driving the reading is the eight of pentacles. Crowning two of swords, the near future, five of pentacles. Your advice? Oh, you have death in reverse. Okay, um, external to you is the high priestess. Hopes and wishes are the king of swords. And the outcome is the queen of cups with the five of wands. Okay, overall energy for you guys. There is uh, some communication coming in. Cupid's arrows, someone's falling in love, swift news. Um, a lot of communication is going to be happening. Could be with a fire sign for some of you. All right. Oh, yeah. And there's a love offer here with the Knight of Cups and the Six of Wands. Victory and the Page of Cups, possibly an apology coming in from somebody. Okay. Somebody's offering their cup of love. Someone wants to win you over, win your heart, come in with an apology. A lot of communication coming from somebody. Okay. Could be fire, could be water. All right. Let's take a look and see what your romance angels messages are here okay let's take a look i see you were um in a very supportive environment in the past okay friends family people um close friends not not a whole bunch just maybe more of an intimate setting with others people who are supporting you taking care of your energy in the past okay so there's a heart-to-heart -heart conversation coming in here honestly discuss your feelings with each other so there's going to be some conversation some opening up okay and there's an opportunity for new love here okay a new person stirring your romantic feelings very interesting okay if any of you are virgos you can follow me on my other channel house of virgo where i do just virgo readings so if you want to check that out definitely do that all right, so like I said in the past, a lot of support, a lot of supportive energy, connecting with other people, um, people celebrating you, you celebrating their, them. Th this is like good energy. Maybe it was dating in the past, meeting other people. Uh, perhaps there was a reunion of some sort in the past with someone. Okay, and it looks like things might have been pretty stable. Things look like, you know, there was... You know we're on this boat and you know the water is pretty rocky but we're managing to stay afloat okay um and it looks like maybe just your energy that you, in the past you were doing good you were doing good okay um and i feel like that energy is still playing out currently i feel like right now you're in a very positive place you're open you're being transparent you're coming out of the dark into the light with the sun and it looks like um it looks like a good place. I feel like what's crossing you, the Seven of Pentacles, it feels to me like you are, you might be prone to a lack of spontaneity. Um, you might be someone who it's kind of like, you might find yourself overthinking at times or over analyzing things too much for some of you and it, whether that like wherever that is on the spectrum for you um, or contemplating too much it looks like you're currently especially for august because the sun does represent that august leo energy the end of the summer this is like i just want to be out i just want to enjoy myself being transparent open having a good time um, and not overthinking, not going down the rabbit hole with content, too much contemplation. It's okay to take a moment to contemplate something, but too much contemplation causes stagnancy. 
okay that causes a stalemate it might be really hard for you um, to get yourself in a position where you say to yourself you know what I'm not going to overthink this uh, or a particular thing in your life that's going on I'm just going to go out and enjoy the rest of my my summer and have fun and just be in a very positive positive mindset okay so where you are right now is good it's not to say that you shouldn't consider something or some things but it is to say don't stay there too long consider it get all the information you need ponder it some if you can't figure out an answer to something or you're not sure what to do leave it be okay the answer will come just don't stay there too much too long okay go out and, and you know enjoy your life be happy make that decision okay so i see you with that sun in a very good place okay light shining on you the light is beckoning you to come to it like a moth to a flame go for it okay now you've got the eight of pentacles here so it feels like what's driving you right now is trying to be more consistent in your life in all areas of your life in love health career um, polishing up your coins making everything in your i'm hearing quality over quantity quantity is important consistent but doing quality work working on yourself focusing on your quality uh the the character your character um your integrity what's quality about you and and taking your strengths and improving your strengths so it's more like you are i see you in this position right now where you are focusing more on living out of your strengths rather than your weaknesses not let because we all have strengths and weaknesses but this feels more like you know what i know i've got my weaknesses i know i have my flaws i know and I'm, I'm an imperfect person but man i'm awesome and i love myself and so you're kind of like you know what i'm going to polish up my strengths and i'm going to live from that place and not let my weaknesses or my fears or my flaws not ref not just it's more like positive affirmations, positive thinking, okay? And that energy, the more you are exposed to positive experiences, the more that kind of changes the um, narrative in your head. If you've had, um, or if you feel prone to think negatively or just to feel bad about something or there's something going on in your life that you feel is making you sad or what have you it's kind of like changing the tapes a little bit by exposing yourself to more positive experiences in some way okay um so i see you doing that that's what's driving you in august okay polishing up the quality uh polishing up your gold not your pennies because <laughs> pennies are kind of worthless why waste time on them right unless you're going to save them for a rainy day which is fine but you don't have any rainy days here you have sunshine so what's crowning down on you is hmm you have the two of swords so you're definitely i feel like trying to break through some blockages okay because your mindset it, it's kind of like well can't do anything about something i can't change the past i can't live in the future i have to stay present so i feel like your your mindset is i'm going to go within and trust my gut and trust my intuition and i'm going to stay where i am okay and it's kind of like you not stay stuck in a past situation um, and you're in this position here of making a decision is what i feel like you're doing you know I feel like you had a lot of support in the past from people who were um, maybe giving you um, like supporting your stability or your desire to become stable or strong okay from and it feels like more so from friends um, and these people if, if I, I don't know if they're still in your life they might be but I feel like you, you you got you were in that position because perhaps something before it caused you to feel unstable like on an emotional roller coaster so it looks like maybe the recent past or some time ago you had some people who were really like you know you're good you're okay you're fine like helping you out through something okay so you know i feel like you are you're really working on self and you're doing very well and and you're coming to terms with 
it's like you're balancing things out because that's what the two of swords are like i said you understand that you have your flaws but you know you can't just look only at your flaws you have to look at your pluses you know your strengths as well and balance yourself out and accept yourself so it feels like you're doing that now in the near future here the five of pentacles is here so what is going on here let's get a little cl okay you're in definitely some kind of struggle, okay? Um, hmm. But there's somebody coming in here to offer some kind of love or apology or connect with you, a new love start. And uh, I actually feel like because of the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, I feel like this is going to come full circle for you because I see you being a little stressed or having some anxiety or feeling like you're you're just going to be by yourself and you're not going to meet anybody but remember um we had the eight of wands and there was new love okay and a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that's going to happen now for some of you um for some of you i will say well, it is a new person. It could be somebody coming in that maybe you were, this is for a very small percentage, could be somebody coming in that you connected with before um, where there's a new love start happening with them. But that's a small percentage, okay? But when I see an apology as well, I do feel this could have been with someone that things didn't get off the ground. Maybe you dated for like a month or so and then it didn't go anywhere and now it's starting up again. Um, and there's just kind of like this innocence and sincerity that kind of eases your mind, you know, because I I don't know if you if, if it's a chicken or the egg. I don't know if this if this situation or an apology from someone makes you feel stressed and and brings out a feeling of um abandonment or triggers something in you or if you're feeling that way and someone comes in with some kind of apology and helps you it just feels like full circle and 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 it, it kind of eases your worries and your pains now what's strange is that you've got the death card in reverse um for your advice so the message that they're giving me here is that um, I'm not sure why you would need to hear this, but they're telling me you need to remind yourself that something is not over or something is not dead in the water. Okay. But also don't um, suffer. Stop the suffering. You were not put on this planet to suffer. You weren't, you're not a martyr. You were not put here. You were not born. You were not created to live on earth suffering. Okay? You were created for love and joy and happiness. So I kind of feel like if you feel like something is over or something is done, Either it's not, or you need to tell yourself right now that it may just be temporarily on hold. And, and I'm not really sure what this might be. Oh, wow. Two of Cups. Okay. So this is definitely like a soulmate connection. Um, because I'm, it's almost as if um, if you convince yourself that something's over, it might be easier for you to get over it but i don't necessarily feel like that's the truth um it's kind of like when someone passes away um we don't get rid of all their maybe their things that they can't use anymore because they're gone but we don't get rid of their mementos and their pictures and things like that we we cherish them okay and you want to be in a position of maybe accepting that something that you had with another person that may not have um, gone so well, or that if you feel like it's over, maybe find a way to remember the good things about that in order not, it's not to put someone on a pedestal, but in order to, um, it's too much of a shock when something ends. 
um, especially if it's abrupt and especially if there's no closure. And I don't know if this is connected to all of this, this reading that I'm giving you, but I feel like there was someone here where at some point something was beautiful and it was good. And I almost feel like in order to calm your mind and calm your heart and make you feel um, peaceful as you go through something or some transition or change, to think back on the good times and not not to long for that but just to appreciate the love that was had and not the love that was lost okay um yeah that's a very specific message for someone here okay and of course i'm not telling you that's what you have to do but i feel like that's a message for someone that may just need to hear that, you know what, I don't have to put their picture away. Maybe temporarily I can put the picture away, but I don't have to suffer through this, okay? Now what's external to you is the high priestess, so there's some kind of secret. What is this secret? There's a mystery. Let me see. Ooh, okay. And then there's, there's justice, okay. Let me see. There's somebody here who wants to try to correct a situation or make something right with you, but it's a secret. This person is not, oh yeah, okay, Knight of Cups. So it might be this person that we were talking about here in the beginning, this new love. Um, there might be a, a, a new love, there's a new love offer coming in from someone. And like I said, this could be someone that you knew before and there's um, a starting something over and it's a beautiful energy. And for some of you, this is absolutely someone you don't know. It, and for some, this may not be an apology. This may just be a, you get some communication, like I said, from someone new, um, you know, during a time going forward in August where you may be feeling sad or stressed out or full of anxiety perhaps about another relationship that's ended and then you know love starts coming in for you you know it's like all is not lost here i just feel like there's there's a seat for every a hole <laughs> no there's a seat for every s that's what i want to say you know, it's it's not that was your only person and then that's going to be it forever. If that person is gone or something's over and, and it's done, if you feel that way, life goes on and you will heal, right? And you're maybe going through the motions, but you're trying to get in a more positive place in your life with yourself. Um, and yeah, just be careful that, like I said, you don't get stuck on... Maybe somebody cheated or they, they lied or betrayed you. Try not to overthink about that. Just put that behind you and get into the light. Okay, so there's a love offer. Somebody's coming in here. They really admire you. And I feel like they, they want to either tell you some truth or connect with you or um, have some type of uh, offer of love, uh, romantic uh, date or some type of a connection. Offer their heart, okay? And but I feel like they're kind of keeping this a little secret. They're not really saying anything. They might be waiting for the right time. They are going to come in with the Page of Cups energy. So that's before the Knight of Cups. So this person's not going to come right in with this gigantic love cup to give to you. Okay, um, they're going to come in with some sweet, sincere, possibly a text message of some sort. As you're going through, maybe they know that you're going through. This could be some, someone you're already talking to. They know that you're going through a difficult situation or that you're having a hard time. And um, uh, they come in with some really sweet messages and say nice things to you and kind of give you some feel good. These are like little, um, what are they giving? Like little sweets, like teeny tiny little sweets that it just kind of like it's just r at the right time for you. For, for you the right time okay so the king of swords is here in your hopes and wishes so hmm you could be hoping or wishing for um an air sign or someone who sits in the air energy of aquarius libra or gemini um truthful communication from someone okay or you were involved with that person um you you there might be something here with you where you're hoping and remind you they don't have to be an air sign but 
some of you might be hoping or wishing that this person um, still loves you or that they could talk to you about why they were indifferent or why they cheated or why they ignored you or why they were apathetic. That could be just a little hope that you have. Um, I don't know that it's running your life. For some of you, it might be. For some of you, it might just be like you got left out in the cold and um, or someone just abandoned you with no explanation or nothing. Um, to say anything to you and so you might be kind of like part of you might be just wishing that there could be some type of communication or there, there would be an explanation but you know what people once they do that they don't generally come back and say hey this is why I left you because you're a horrible person if they feel that way I, I don't know that this person feels that way I feel like they might have just been one of those they might have had an avoidant attachment or um, they're just incapable of accepting love or they they just were very shallow could have been king of swords energy is not a big lover king of swords um is more of a logical lover okay not big on affection and romance um well at least this king of swords here so yeah there there's some stuff that you're working through here and i feel like you're going through the motions the ups and downs now the outcome is the queen of cups and the five of wands so i'm seeing some conflict or competition at the outset with um possibly a water sign okay cancer scorpio pisces okay um hmm but it feels like this conflict or this trouble or this challenge or this obstacle is going to sort itself out okay there's going to be balance and harmony and peace a little bit of conflict and then things are going to be peaceful and things are going to hmm knight of pentacles i feel like things are going to just balance out balance here balance here and i feel like that's what you're trying a place that you're trying to get in your life at this time with the nine of uh, the knight of pentacles i think like i feel like things are just gonna kind of smooth out and get grounded I, this could be this could be a friend it could be um uh, a female or a male this could be a lover of some of some sort where there was some i feel like there might have been a little bit of um conflict and then <laughs> so they're giving me there might have been at times some conflict with this person and at times things were peaceful and then like a little bit of a roller coaster and that could be someone that you were connected with in the past I do see if you were connected to someone who was of the water element, um, this person, they block, they hide a lot, um, they're stabilizing, and um, I do feel like that person doesn't want to let you go, and I don't see that they're going to let you go, but I don't know that you are going, I feel like because you've got a new love and a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and opening up here, I feel like some of you might have um, something new. And for some, you might have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with a past person while a new love um, is coming into your life. So there's a little bit of different energy happening here. And um, I think you should just let August play out the way it needs to play out. Okay. Let me see if I can pick up some Chinese signs from this. this um, we're going to look at this new person. Let's see what this new person And you know what, you guys? I'm also picking up like you're you're definitely going to get a new offer. This is for some of you, get a new love offer. But then there is a past uh, apology situation or heart to heart with somebody else from your past. So that's all I'm going to say. What's coming in? Okay, what you're going to do about that remains to be seen. I feel like you're just trying to. Get yourself in a better position in your own personal life all right let me see all right new person okay they could be born in the year of the ox they could be born in the year of the goat or a tiger snake a rat a monkey beautiful okay so if you know already if you know this new person you know what that message is then then that's who they are. If not, you'll find out. All right, let me see a couple other messages here for you from my Moonpie Tarot deck. 
What other messages do the collective need to know? Let's take a look. Okay. All right. So the past is returning. Definitely. So I feel like there's going to be a heart to heart with someone from your past. Um, hmm. Possibly an apology. Um, either you're giving it or they're giving it. Okay. But there's in the month of August, that's going to happen here. Let's see. What else do you need to know? Oh, cute. Somebody's getting a loan. So that loan that you were applying for, maybe credit card or some kind of a loan, you're, it's going to be offered to you. So that's a little side message. Okay. You get a little boredom going on here for you. Um, hmm. That's interesting. Are you feeling bored? Um, yeah, maybe you need to get busy doing something. Um, okay. So you might experience a little bit of boredom in August. I think that's going to be kind of like for some of you as you're going through some kind of a change here and you're getting yourself like back up on your own two feet and, um, sorting through your feelings and dealing or having some grief or, um, trying to work through things. Um, I just heard some of you, you may be better off if this was a breakup or a relationship that ended rather than suffering um, for what it couldn't have been for some of you, not all of you. I know some of you are already past that situation, but for some of you, maybe, maybe reconcile yourself to, well, perhaps the best that we could have ever been was just friends, right? Rather than suffering to the point where it's like, wishing for more maybe it's just about accepting okay so i feel like you go through perhaps this little period of boredom because nobody's ringing your phone or anything like that but i'm telling you things are going to pick up again okay you're in like um i don't know if you're in a dry spell or something like that um let me see okay so you've got a bossy male showing up here okay so this could be a friend who's trying to like nudge you to get your butt in gear and get to the gym or, um, you know, take some more hours on work, um, at work, um, trying to, I don't feel like it's someone bossy who's like abusive. I just feel like they're kind of trying to light a fire under your butt. And for others, this could be someone who's coming into your life in a very alpha way with um, like some fire energy, all right? Um, this is someone who is not, they, they don't, you know, they're very confident. They show up very confident, okay? Could be a lover coming in. Let me see, okay. And you've got new plans. Yeah, so there's a bossy male showing up here and it's fire energy who's um, gonna try to make plans with you, okay? Um, like I said, there's somebody coming in here who wants to date and wants to spend some time with you and and do some stuff with you so it, it looks like it could be a friend it could be a lover who's coming in here to maybe help you get out of your boredom or um, however you might be feeling or the emotional um, loss of some sort you know you may not want to go <laughs> you may say no that's boring I don't want to do that but they're gonna keep trying and they're going to keep trying to just they're going to lasso you and just drag you out of the house or drag you somewhere just so that you could just feel what it's like to, you know, have fun again. And let's see one more. OK, so maybe you're suffering from some kind of financial loss. And guess what? You're not alone. The whole world is. Everyone's going through it right now. we got a lot going on in the world um, and you do need to perhaps not let that get you to a, a, a place of um, despair, okay? You still have your health. You still have your life, okay? And there's a love offer. Like I said, there's definitely a love offer. So I, I feel very happy about that for you. And let me see. I want to just get a couple of charms here for you. Okay. You have a heart and you've got a moon. Wow. Okay. Okay, love at night. Love at night. Love will be felt at night. This is, um, you know what, you guys? This feels like um, new moon energy. So we're talking about August. Hold on a second. I just want to see. 
August 27th. August 27th is going to be a profound day. Um, some of you it might be your birthday. Could be a, that week it, or, you know, some around that time of August. Some of you might have a birthday around or, or there might be a, a per, another person whose birthday is around that time. But I feel like um, somebody's going to try and put a ring on your finger at the end of August. Okay. Or it could be you uh, putting a ring on somebody else's finger. All right. Um, okay. So we have a horse here. It's interesting because when I was, and I, I should, I probably should have said this, but I didn't. When I was looking at bossy mail, <laughs> I, the, first, the image that came to my mind was um, Rocky Balboa, <laughs> you know, Rocky. And I was thinking like the Italian stallion. I was thinking like Italian. It's so weird. And then I'm seeing this horse and I'm like, oh, a stallion. So there, this person coming in could be Italian or um, just kind of very macho, uh, a friend or a lover, um, you know, if you know it could be a, a male coming in and saying get back up on the horse you know get back up on the horse get your saddle get back out there in your life uh, go meet people just start living your life again um you know or, and it, it, even if it's a love offer from this person you know it's it's starting off very nice like come on let's go this is someone who comes across to me as being very active so I'm, I'm feeling like a lot of nighttime activities where love gets formed um, or love blossoms doing night some nighttime activities you know you take that however you like but very beautiful energy I love this reading for you guys for the collective I hope that this resonates and gives you some inspiration and hope that um, all will be well I want to tell you guys that um, uh, just a quick little caveat um, if you listen to a tarot reader anytime on YouTube and you walk away feeling worse than you did when you before you clicked on that video, do not ever go back to that tarot reader. And I'm going to tell you why. Because a lot of times tarot readers, it's not all of them, all right? There's just a select that I've seen and I've known over the course of my many years here. A lot of tarot readers are having problems in their own personal relationships and they're projecting anger and hate in the reading. So if you're a particular sign and that tarot reader is reading about that sign, you're clicking on it thinking that it's going to be about you and you're going to get some, you know, hope of some sort, but they're actually talking about um, in a negative way your sign because that's a person that they had a fallout with. I've seen that happen so many times and I want to just give you a quick warning. Number one, if you click on a reading and you leave that reading feeling worse than before you clicked on it, stay away from that tarot reader because they are projecting and they are not getting divine messages and they are not, they're, 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 they're dealing with their personal issues through the use of tarot and it happens, okay? Some tower readers do it for their own personal therapy and it has nothing to do with you. So make sure that you have that um, intuition to know. All you have to know is, you know what? I felt worse after listening to this reading. Do not go back. That person, that reader has not evolved and they have not connected because they got a lot of other stuff going on. And I just wanna say that, okay? And if you walk away feeling worse from this reading, well, you feel free to click off, but I promise you I'll always do my best to give you some hope and strength and light into your heart because at the end of the day, no matter who's perfect or imperfect, everyone deserves that. All right, you guys, I love you and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.